It's important to look at the publication date, or the last updated date, of an information source to get an idea of how current it is. But that date is often going to be more recent than the actual age of the information. It takes time to write something and time for it to go through quality control and the publication process. The question is, just how much of a gap was there between the time that the information was produced and the time that the information source was made available? That amount depends mainly on what kind of information source it is. News is generally the most current information available through an official outlet. A news magazine has information that was current in the week leading up to the date it was put on the shelves. A newspaper has information that was current as of a few hours before it reached the readers. News on TV programs and websites may be a few minutes to few hours old or even delivered live. The thing to watch out for is that being the first to report on something is very important to news outlets. As a result, errors happen, so you have to watch out for later corrections. Scholarly articles are peer-reviewed, which is a heavy-duty form of quality control. Because of that, they're expected to have fewer mistakes and errors, but on the other hand, they take much longer to get out to the reader. Information in a scholarly article is typically between six months and a year old by the time it gets to the reader. In some cases, it may be even older than that. Scholarly books are peer-reviewed just like scholarly articles. The difference is that it takes much longer to write and peer-review a 300-page book than it does a 30-page article. So information in scholarly books is gener generally anywhere from one to three years old by the time the book is published. For non-scholarly books and magazines, the age of the information at the time of publication varies a lot. Sometimes the information is so old it's stale. Sometimes, if it's a current events topic, they might hurry to get it to the shelves and make errors. Most of the time it's in the middle. Websites are all over the place. When you're looking at a website, try to find out its last updated date. Traditionally, this is placed in the footer of the main page. If you can't find it there, check the About page. You also need to look for other clues that it hasn't been kept up to date, like lots of broken links. Certain bits of content on a website might also carry their own copyright publication or last updated dates. For example, the website might have been updated last in 2013, but it has an article embedded in it that was published in 2008. Or the website might look very out of date, but have a live content feed that was updated today. Because of all these complications, it's important to be able to estimate the age of information that you find in an information source, independent of the date on the information source. There are two ways to do that. The first and easiest way is if it has a reference section, works cited, or bibliography. Go through it and find the most recent publication date. The information source can't cite anything more recent than itself. In fact, if it was written in 2010, chances are the most recent date you'll find in the bibliography is 2009, or maybe 2010. It doesn't matter if its publication date says 2014. If the most recent things it cites are from 2010, the information is four or more years old. The second way is to cross-check the information by looking it up in information sources whose currency is very reliable. Certain kinds of reference sources are known for this, like almanacs, fact books, government and international statistical websites, and yearbooks of encyclopedias. So not only are you fact-checking your information source, you're getting an idea of when its information was current.